Hello, I'm back and it's Tuesday and so far today I have read 22 pages of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and I will carry on reading the rest of the chapter that I'm on just to get the page number up a little bit and I plan on starting another book by Kate Moss which is a second in this series I did use the audiobook for the first one, but unfortunately it's not the same lady who narrates it, so I won't be getting the, uh, the audiobook this time around, because it, although this new lady is good, I prefer the other one, um, the good, and I will update later on. Placed each of the four people in the four chairs with chained arms which now stood on the dungeon floor. There was a thick-set man who stared blankly up at Crouch. A thinner and more nervous looking man whose eyes were darting around the crowd. A woman with thick, shining dark hair and heavily hooded eyes who was sitting in the chained chair as though it were a throne. And a boy in his late teens. Hello, it's Wednesday and so far today I have read 60 pages of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And I have decided not to continue the Kate Moss book. And I'm going to read Stoner by John Williams instead. And I'm finding this one a little bit more interesting so far. So I'm going to try and get through this one this week. And I've only read 24 pages of this so far. So hopefully I'll get a little bit more done tonight. Hello, it's Thursday. I am back. And today I have read oh, 72 pages of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I listened to it on the audiobook and he's just finished the maze and found out about Professor Moody and I am enjoying it so far and don't have too much left to read in this. There's maybe that much left to read and I will probably finish finish this in the next day or two depending on how much they actually listen to while they travel to and from work. But I want to finish, or at least read a little bit more of Stoner as well. And I'm not sure how much of that I'll get done today because I haven't read any of that so far today. And if I do read any more of that today, I will update you. But if not, you'll see us again tomorrow afternoon once I've finished work. Chapter 1 Dudley Dimmit hottest day of the summer so far was drawing to a close, and a drowsy silence lay over the large, square houses of Privet Drive. The cars that were usually gleaming stood dusty in their drives, and lawns that were once emerald green lay parched and yellow, for the use of hose pipes had been banned due to drought. Deprived of their usual car washing and lawn mowing pursuits, the inhabitants of Privet Drive had retreated into the shade of their cool houses windows thrown wide in the hope of tenting in a non-existent breeze. The only person left outdoors was a teenage boy who was lying... But I wrapped up the reading vlog and this week I managed to finish the last 210 pages of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and I gave this 5 stars on Goodreads. I also managed to finish the last two Two thirds of A Fate of Time by Bella Forrest, and I read a total of 261 pages of this. And gave this five stars as well on Good Stoner by John Williams. And so far, I'm finding this okay. I haven't finished it yet, but hopefully, I'll get through this sooner rather than later. And I also started. Harry Potter and The Order of the Phoenix and I read 73 pages of this on the Sunday. So far it's okay. I can see myself getting annoyed by Harry again in this and I understand why I get so angry all the time after everything that he's been through. It is traumatic and in a sense you could imagine that he's experiencing PTSD as well as, well as everything else that teenagers deal with. And I can't really blame him for his behaviour, but at the same time, I can't help but get annoyed 
at that sometimes. And I plan to finish this within the next month or two, depending on how long it takes us through the audio audiobook. And I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Comment down below what you've been reading and thanks for watching.